This city is exciting. Dangerous. Troubled. That woman's not wearing underwear. Is that all you can think about? Food and sex? Yes. Please, focus. Look out! Hey, it's Jay! No time for small talk. We're late. Hey, hold the elevator. Heavy. I think Louise is so sweet. I think this woman is wearing underwear. I think there's too many people in this elevator. And I think you are all idiots. That's gonna work. Louise, proof these files, verify all quotes. And do you think I'm over the hill? <laughs> you know, in the autumn of my years. I got news for you, Mr. Bracken. <laughs> We're well past autumn. It's the height of the Christmas season. <laughs> Mr. Bracken, since when are you so concerned about your age? Well, as you know, I haven't been having much luck with the dating ritual lately. And I was wondering if maybe I'm just too old. Uh, be honest with me. Uh, don't lie just because I'm your boss. How old do you think I am? Sixty-seven. Ouch. So your ex-fiance just called you out of the blue? She read my name in a magazine article and tracked me down. Wow, you're not gonna see her, are you? What, are you kidding me? This is the woman that humiliated me on my wedding day. She left me standing at the altar in front of all my friends and family looking like a complete fool. You bet your ass I'm gonna see her. <laughs> What she did to him, why the hell is he going to see her? Because, in a moment of vulnerability, he once admitted to us she was the only woman he ever really loved. I think Jay's making a big mistake. Seeing her will just dredge up horrible memories. You mean, like this? <laughs> oh, you gotta help me get back at Layla. How? Well, I want her to know that I'm over her, and everything's been great in my life since she left me. So you're gonna lie? <laughs> big time. I'm gonna get Hetty to pretend to be my trophy wife, and I want you to pretend you're my much-abused lackey. I don't know, Jay. I prefer the one where I pretend to be your sassy valet. Um, this girl's real special. Please, do the much-abused lackey. Fine, fine, but you'll never get Hetty to play along. It's no problem. Hetty and I speak the same language. Watch. No, I won't go out with you, Jay. I'll pay you. Okay. <laughs> I'm meeting Layla at McAnally's at 8 tonight, so I want you and Hetty to be there at 7.30. Yes, sir, Mr. Nichols, sir. Herm, um, that's the sassy valet. <laughs> All right, let's go over it again. Hetty. We've been married four years. Yes, and don't forget to add that we still have an incredibly active and gymnastic sex life. <laughs> that before you met me, you were, in fact, frigid. You had never before... Jay! Just say it. Now you, Hermo. Okay, uh, I've been working with you for... No, no, you don't work with me. You work under me. <laughs> Remember, I'm a stern man, but a fair man. What about our sex life? <laughs> Just say it. All right. She better get here soon because you only have me for another hour. Hey, I paid you 50 bucks for the whole night. But real, Jay, you can't even buy a hooker on Times Square for that. <laughs> In point of fact, you can, but I chose you, Hetty. Oh, God, it's her. It's her. Jay. Layla. Watch Jay blow this woman away. Ooh. After he does, I wouldn't mind taking a shot at her myself. <laughs> you forget it. I know this type of woman. First, she'll seduce you, then she'll squish your self-esteem like a grape. Stop it. You're getting me excited. <laughs> it's been a long time. Boy, you look better now than the day you ruined my life. I guess you and I have a lot to talk about. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Well, I never stop thinking about you. I'm Hetty, Jay's wife. Uh, Hetty. Oh, Jay, you didn't tell me you were married. And we still have an incredibly active and gymnastic sex life. 
And before I met Jay, I was in fact frigid and... Okay, okay, thank you, honey. We're divorced. We're divorced. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Herman Brooks. I'm Jay's assistant. Yeah, he's a, a stern man, but a fair man. Okay, thank you. You can both go now. You still have to pay me, Jay. A deal's a deal. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Terms of the divorce settlement. It's not much of a settlement. Wasn't much of a marriage. <laughs> you sure you're gonna be all right? Yeah, I just took one look at her. Yeah, okay, I'll be at the bar if you need me. She's not really my ex-wife. Oh, yeah, I kind of figured that. Jay, you don't have to play games with me. Well, what should I do, Layla? You stand me up on our wedding day without any explanation? You expect me to act like a normal human being? Look, I'm sorry about that. We were young. I got scared. It must have been very hard explaining to everyone why I wasn't there. No, no, not really. I just told everyone you were killed in a freak logging accident. <laughs> and they believed you? They did after they read your obituary. Jay, you went to so much trouble. Trouble and expense, Layla. Funerals aren't cheap, you know. I had to pay for the hearse, I had to pay for the flowers, I had to pay for the casket. And not one of those cheap pine jobs either. Mahogany with the mother of pearl inlays. If you were still in there, the guy promised you'd only be 30% decomposed by now. You should see where you're buried. It's up on a hill overlooking a lake. That's beautiful. Yeah, well, it better be. I'm still paying for it. Jay, can't we put it behind us? Not till I'm done paying for it, no. You know what? This was really a bad idea, seeing you. I'm just, I'm making myself crazy all over again. I, I, I gotta get out of here. Well, Mrs. Nichols, can I buy you a drink? No, I don't go out with valets. That's okay. I heard you're frigid anyway. <laughs> I think the reason I've been having so much trouble with women lately is because I've been giving off distinctly non-sexual signals. No, uh, not you, Mr. Bracken. <laughs> Too much, huh? So I figured if I freshen up the package, maybe someone would be curious enough to try the product. Mr. Bracken, women aren't interested in what a man wears. It's what's on the inside that counts. You really think so, Henny? Hell no, but that's your only shot, because what's on the outside sure ain't working. <laughs> Hello. Jay, where the hell have you been all week? We were supposed to go to the Knicks game on Thursday. You never showed. After I ran out of Mac and Alex the other night, Layla came to see me and we talked. Uh-oh. No, Herman was great. We realized how much we care about each other. Next thing I know, we're jumping in a car and going upstate. Herman was so romantic. We rented a cabin, we made love, we visited her grave. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, for the money I'm paying, they're really not keeping it up very well. I can't believe Jay blew us off just to spend time with that stupid broad. First of all, she is not a stupid broad. He seems to have genuine feelings for her. And second of all, I've had it with your grotesque misogyny. Well, then don't look at it. <laughs> Let me put it another way. You make one more inane sexist remark, and I'm going to castrate you. Well, at least you're all right. More than all right, Hermo. I'm nuts about this woman all over again. <laughs> well, I'm very happy for you, Jay. But from now on, if you're going to break plans, man, you got to let me know. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right, Herm. Now, about coming over to your place tonight to watch the football game. Oh, no, not the game. I'm sorry, Herm. It's the only night... Oh, look, not... look, it's, it's okay. I knew you'd understand. Sure. You don't understand. I'm sorry. I'll be there, buddy. Of course I'll be there. Eric, I need you to come with me. Where are we going? I need someone to do a little sweet talking for me. The cops are about to tow my hog. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I don't do that kind of thing anymore. I'll pay you. Okay. Go, go, go! Yes, yes, yes! yes. Oh, man! Whew. Better turn off the Playboy channel now. Game's about to start. <laughs> All right, we're back 
in business, just like the old days. Just us and Jay and no stupid Bim. <laughs> Bim what? Bim. Bim mini island brochures. <laughs> How many times are we going to tell that damn travel agent we're not going? <laughs> What a beer? Oh, I just took a club soda, Herm. A lot of calories in beer, you know. Gotta lose the love handles. Is that why you didn't touch your steak? Oh, I'm not eating meat anymore. Layla's got me on this vegetarian diet. I cook, I clean, and for what? <laughs> oh, that's probably Layla. I invited her over to watch the game. You don't mind, do you? Not at all. Hi. Hi. Here comes my pookie. Here comes my snuggle. Here comes my lunch. We're in the middle of watching the game. Oh, don't let me interfere. You guys just pretend like I'm not even here. Chips? Uh, no thanks. I don't need anything that isn't organically grown. Well, oh, it's okay. They're free-range chips. <laughs> How could you say something like that to her? Because Jay's whipped and it's her fault. If you remember, that's what he said about us when Elizabeth was around. That's different. How is that different? Okay, it's not different, but tonight was supposed to be just for the guys, and, you know, come to think of it, you're not really a guy. Get out of here! <laughs> and don't come back until after the game! <laughs> that wasn't very nice. You're right. And come to think of it, you're not really a guy either. <laughs> you gonna give me trouble? No, not me. <laughs> come on. Go watch that game. Go, go, go. Yes! Oh. Touchdown. <laughs> Pass the chips. Well, I think I'll go out for a walk. There's clean sheets in the closet. Thanks again for having me and Layla over to watch the football game the other night. Where, where did you disappear to, anyway? I took a room into Y. <laughs> Arm, I gotta tell you something. Uh, I realize this is not a very Jay Nichols thing to say, but I really think I could spend the rest of my life with Layla. Jay, don't you think you should go slowly with this one? What, what does that mean? I think you know what I'm talking about. Right, I wondered whether you are gonna bring this up. It's payback time, right? Payback for what? For what? For Elizabeth, pal. It always bugged you that I never liked her. Now you get a chance to return the oh, favor. Come on, Jay. You're way off. Oh, like hell I am. Well, Jay, I don't have anything against Layla. Man, just because you got involved in a lousy relationship does not mean that I will. Yeah, well, at least Elizabeth didn't dump me at the altar and leave me looking like a complete fool. I can't believe Jay just hauled off and hit me like that. Oh, butch it up, Herman. You sound like a jilted lover. <laughs> well, we're guys. I mean, you can always count on a guy to be there for you. On what planet? <laughs> Eddie, you're not exactly a shining example of a loyal companion. Oh, I don't have to sit here and listen to this. I'll pay you. Okay. <laughs> I've been out in four nights. I wouldn't mind having a little fun. Well, Herman, if we're going to have some fun, you're going to have to stop whining about Jay. All right, all right. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, like that cute guy over there at the bar. Yeah, he's like kind of a big butt, don't you think? I like him kind of big. <laughs> well, the only thing I like big back there is a wallet. Then how about that butt over there? Can we please raise the level of this conversation to semi-intelligent? I know, we'll have one of those intellectual conversations like the ones you and Jay have. <sighs> Ooh, look at the Hogan's on that, babe. <laughs> hey, baby, what you got on under that dress? <laughs> Hey, look, Herman, Jay's here. Yeah, I see him. Herman, you obviously miss hanging out with Jay. Why don't you just go talk to him? Jay wants to apologize. He can come talk to me. I'll see you later. I don't care what you say. That guy's butt's really growing on me. <laughs> it's growing on him, too. I gotta thank you for asking me to come along with you last night, Herman. Had an awesome time. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I still got that one chick's phone number. Stacy, I think I'll give her a call right now. This is great. I feel young again. Hey, 
can't believe some desperate middle-aged woman gave Bracken her number. Actually, Hattie, she was half his age. Then obviously she has a father thing for him. Or a grandfather thing, or a great-grandfather thing, or a great-great-grandfather thing. That's about enough, Hattie. Bar hopping with Bracken. I now officially have no life. <laughs> Herman, why don't you just patch things up with Jay instead of sitting around being miserable? It is his responsibility to make the effort. Herman, with friends, there's no responsibility, only friendship and communication. I don't know, Louise. Friendship and communication, damn it, there's no talking to you. Hermsky! Oh, dear God. Stacy agreed to accompany me to that new club that just opened. You should come along. She's probably got a friend for you. Maybe another time. Cool. <laughs> this is humiliating. I think we'd feel a lot better if we called Jay. No, we're not calling Jay. There's plenty of other options. Like what? Well, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can... Hello, Jay. Uh, we can, 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 Come on, let's go. It's getting dark. Come on. I'm really glad you called, Tom. Yeah, and I wanted to tell you I'm sorry about what happened. I didn't mean to make you so mad. Herm, please, I'm sorry I hit you. Hey, hey, that... that hurt. <laughs> I guess the thing you said about Layla leaving me kind of struck a nerve, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I realized we have a great friendship, and it's too important to let anything get in the way of it. Well, I hear that. Yeah. Buddies for life? No. Buddies for life. <laughs> Boy, I'm really gonna miss you when I move to L.A. L.A.? Oh, you're kidding, right? No, I'm leaving in the morning. Layla decided she wanted to go to Hollywood and be a producer. You're crazy? What are you going to do in L.A.? I figured I'd do a little writing for television. Jay, you don't know anything about writing for television. Herm, come on, how hard could it be? Well, he's got a point there. Look, we can't let Jay go to L.A. Talk some sense into him. Well, ask me nicely. Talk some sense into him. That's better. <laughs> Jay, you've made a great life for yourself here in New York. You really want to throw it all away on a whim just to move to L.A. with Layla? Herman, it's not a whim. We talked about it for over an hour last night. <laughs> an hour? Don't you think it deserves a little more of your time than it takes to cook a roast? See, that's because you don't wrap it in foil. <laughs> Jay. Herman, it doesn't matter whether I give it an hour or a year. The answer's still going to be the same. I want to be with Layla. After what happened with her, how can you be so sure? Because things are different now. We both grew up, you know? It's the real thing now. Okay, Jay, I just think that a little more time wouldn't hurt just Herm, to be sure. you're bugging me again. Why don't you just tell me you're happy for me and wish me luck? All right, man. If that's what you want, then, then good luck. Thanks. All right. I'm leaving you in charge of all the women in New York, man. I want to hear a lot of bad rumors about you. <laughs> Good night. You leaving early, Mr. Bracken? Oh, time to cruise. Got a hot date tonight. Well, have a good time with Stacy at Rockin' Mania. Uh, things didn't work out with Stacy. Turns out she was dating an older man just to shock her parents. Oh, that's bad. No, her parents love me. Oh, that's good. No, when Stacy saw I was getting along with her parents, she dumped me. Oh, that's bad. No, her parents and I are getting together tonight. We got a great evening plan. Oh, that's good. They're coming over to my house. We're going to watch slides of my trip to the Library of Congress. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> well, good night. Jay, I thought your plane left hours ago. It did. Herm, I finally got even with Layla. What are you talking about? We packed together, we went to the airport together, then just as I'm boarding the plane, I turned to her and said, Layla, I'm really sorry, but I can't go through with this. That was it. I just left her standing there at the gate all alone. Jay, I'm confused. I thought you wanted to marry her. Well, I did too, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized this is not the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is just unfinished business, and today I finished it. Well, I'm glad you figured out what you really wanted before it was too late. Yeah, I feel great. I feel great. You know what the best part is? You don't have to write for TV. <laughs> I left her. It took me seven years, man, but I left her. <laughs> Good for you. I'll tell you what, I'm going to run these suitcases up to my office, and you and I are going to hit the town and hit it hard, man, just like old times. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
I didn't know we could do that. Hi. Layla, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Jay and I were all set to meet at the airport, and at the last minute I panicked and didn't go. You mean you never went to the airport? No. Will you give him this note for me? It may not do much good, but at least he'll know why I'm doing this. Why are you doing this? I've been thinking about Jay a lot recently and wondering if maybe I made a mistake when I left him. And you know what? I didn't. The note just says I'm sorry. How can you do this to him again? Just give him the note. All right, I'll give him the note. But I think what you're doing really stinks. So do I. She's lying. Jay told us the truth. He dumped her. Well, think about it. If Jay put her in a plane to L.A., what's she doing here? Maybe it wasn't a direct flight. <laughs> You're the reason we drool, aren't you? <laughs> you ready, man? Jay. What? What, what? I got something on my face? What? So you just put Layla on the plane and made her go without you? It was poetry, Herm. Well, he's not getting this. This is one of those times when I can just see the messenger being killed. <laughs> Don't be such a coward. I gotta be me. <laughs> we have to give him the note. No! This will completely humiliate Jay if he ever knows we know what happened. But he deserves to hear her side of the story. This woman's done enough damage already. The least we can do is let him have his dignity, and no one, I mean no one lets on we know her their history. It wasn't easy and it wasn't pretty, but... Today, I settled all outstanding accounts. I'm proud of you. Hey, let's hit it. Look out, New York. Jay Nichols is back. He's going undercover to catch a killer, but this time, she's in too deep. Deborah Winger and Tom Berenger star in the broadcast premiere of Betrayed, tomorrow on Fox Night at the Movies. Now, stay tuned for Flying Blind, next.